हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल असद इंटरनेशनल अकेडमी फर्स्ट टाइम इन 2021 ट्वेंटी वन टू डे आई एम फिर टू एक्सप्लेन डेट हाउ टू कैलकुलेट स्टैंडर्ड एरो ऑफ मीन विद इजिएस्ट एंड शॉर्टकट मेथड विच नॉवल टर्न अबाउट दैट आई विल शेयर यू सम इम्पोर्टेंट सीक्रेट्स एंड ट्रिक्स अबाउट द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एरो विच बाई यूजिंग दैट एग्जाम्पल सो मस्ट वॉच एस लेक्चर फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग टू एंड and without wasting any time let's solve the lecture so here uh, uh, here example is already given here data is given and that frequency is given but in that problem you will already you already know that the standard error of mean formula is already known sigma x bar is equal to sigma divided by square root of n that's the formula we mostly use in the calculation of standard error of mean But in this example, sigma is not given. Most important point: sigma is not given. But because sigma is not given, so which shows that you have to check the sample size. So there is a thousand, which shows that sample size. You already know that that is the submission of n. Must remember that. Small n is equal to submission n. Both values is thousand. So their sample size thousand, which is greater than thirty. Because sample size is greater than thirty, you have to use here sample standard deviation capital N. Then the formula of standard error mean will become here the formula of formula of standard error. the formula of standard error of mean will become here just like sx bar is equal to s divided by square root of n so there is formula we use in the calculation of standard error of mean so small n is already given which is 1000 you have to calculate here just sample standard deviation the formula of standard deviation we will use here the formula is here just like x is equal to Square root of bracket submission at u square divided by submission at minus submission at u divided by submission at completing square multiplied by s. That formula we use because of the calculating the corrected value of that example. So that data is given here. H H is the class interval. So first of all, you have to calculate here. X, which is the midpoint, which is the main part of this point, that's lecture in calculation of standard deviation. So first of all, I can I calculate the midpoint by using calculator. One plus ten answer divided by two. One plus ten answer then divided by two. You get the value here, five point five. In similarly, you can do you can do it. Uh, for that stuff, eleven plus twenty. Answer then divided by two. We get the value here fifteen point five. Next twenty one plus thirty. Twenty one plus thirty. Then answer divided by two. We get the value here twenty five point five. Next value is given here thirty one forty. Thirty-one plus forty. Answer then divided by two. We get the value here thirty-five point five. That's here. Next forty-one fifty. Forty-one plus fifty. Answer then divided by two. We get the value here forty-five point five. Forty-five point five. And next fifty-one sixty. Fifty-one plus sixty. Answer then divided by two, we get the value here fifty five point five. And next sixty one seventy sixty one plus seventy. Uh, Answer then divided by two, we get the value here sixty five point five. And last seventy one eighty seventy one plus eighty. Answer then divided by two, we get the value here seventy five. Point five. So here I have calculated the midpoint. So 
that the h is the class interval h is the h is the class interval class interval upper mind upper class the class interval i already discussed here the difference between upper class boundary and low class boundary that's called as class interval which i have already discussed in my uh, in my last lecture so class interval is given here 15.5 upper class boundary and minus low class boundary 15.5 minus 5.5 now capital the value here 15.5 minus 5.5 i think will be 10 so the last interval is given here which is 10 that's clear that step is clear next step next step you have to calculate here u what is u you already know that the formula of u is u is equal to x minus a over h must remember the formula will be here i'm writing here u is equal to x minus a divided by h h is the class interval and that what is e what is what is a sorry what is a a is the assume value must remember that a is the assume value you can you can say that that's the supposition value so a in this section of x middle point you can take any value of a you can take the value of 35.5 as an example you can also take a, a 25 you can also take a 5.5 but in this in this in, in this lecture i will take the a value which is 5.5 but must remember you can you can take the a value any value as u value so there i am calculating here the a value so a is given here a divided by h now x and now calculating here u x minus a divided by h you can say that 5.5 that's clear minus a a will be similar value 5.5 divided by h h is the class interval is given here 10. similarly you can note you can note here 5.5 minus 5.5 will be 0 0 over 10 will be 0 that's clear similarly for the next step 15.5 x minus a a is the same value 5.5 answer then divided by h h is the class interval is 10 we get the value here 1 that's clear simply follow the steps uh, next is 25.5 uh, 25.5 minus 5.5 as new value answer then divided by 2 we get the value here 10 we get the uh, sorry we get sorry uh, sorry the, this is a little mistake again 25.5 minus 5.5 answer then divided by sorry answer divided by 10 we get the value here too next step 35.5 35.5 minus 5.5 answer then divided by 10 which is the class interval we get the value here 3 next 45.5 45.5 minus 5.5 which is a new value answer then divided by class interval 10 we get the value here 4 next step 55.5 55.5 minus a new value is given already here 5.5 answer then divided by 10 we get the value here 5 and next step 55.5 65.5 next will be minus 5.5 answer then divided by 10 we get the value here 6 next 75.5 75.5 minus 5.5 answer then divided by 10 we get the value here 7 so i calculated the values here, here u next step you have to calculate here f u so right here f u and next f u square so f multiplied by u you have to multiply those values 20 multiplied by 0 will be 0 98 ones are 98 152 is also 152 <coughs> 300 and next step is here 218 multiplied by 3 
multiply by 3, get the value here, 6, 5, 4, next, 200 multiply by 4, 4 uh, 200 multiply by 4, we get the value here, 4 to the 8, 800, next, 164 multiply by 5, 164 multiply by 5, we get the value here, 820, and next, double one zero, double one zero multiply by six, answer, we get the value here, six six zero. And next, last, 40, uh, 40 multiply by seven, we get the value here, 280. So I calculate now, adding the value, you can easily calculate here, summation FQ, we will put the value in that section. So adding the, adding the all values, 98, plus 98 plus 300 plus 654 plus 800 plus 820 plus uh, 660 plus 280 we get the value here 3612 so that is our submission F2 we have calculated and last F U scale you can easily calculate Multiplying these two values, F U multiply by U, we will get here F U square. 0 multiply by 0 will be 0, 98 one will be 98, next 300, 3 to the 6, 600, next 3 multiply by 654, 3 multiply by 654, we get the value here 192, and next value here 8. 800 multiplied by 4, we get the value here 32. 3200. Next, 820 multiplied by 5. Multiplied by 5, we get the value here 4100. And next, 660 multiplied by 6, we get the value here 3960. And last, 7 multiplied by 280. We get the value here 1960. So adding all the values, we get here submission F U scale. Now adding the R values 98 plus 600 plus 1962 plus 3200 plus 4100 plus 3960. Next 1960 1960. We get the value here 15880. So I've calculated the R values. Just putting the R values in that section, you can calculate as that putting the values that you have easily calculated the standard error uh, mean. Now putting the R values in that section, taking square root of that, the value is given here. Summation F2 scale is 15880. 15880 divided by submission F. Submission F is 1000. Minus submission F2 is given here 3612. 3612. Then submission F is given here 1000. <coughs> Next, square multiply by H. H is a class interval. Class term is given here 10. Now we can easily calculate the value here uh, divided by all values taking the 15880 divided by 1000 that you can easily, you, I, I think so you can do it in cell sorting the value that's the value of S calculate put that value in that section then equal to N, N will be here 1000 taking the square root of 1000 and putting the value of standard deviation as you can easily calculate the standard error of mean which you can do it himself thanks for watching the video if you like this video then can you must subscribe to my youtube channel I must press bell icon button for getting notification of my new lecture. Goodbye.